Dental hygiene has been said to be overlooked when it comes to education in schools. Now two East Carolina University students are taking the initiative to change that in Pitt County. WNCT's Emily Gibbs has more. Brushing your teeth is something that a lot of people take as common knowledge, but not for everyone, especially young children. I talked to the ECU students charged with helping change your students' attitude towards keeping their teeth healthy. Brush your teeth. <laughs> Brush your teeth every day. This is the advice two students, Trevor Stanton and Kevin Holly, at ECU Dental School want to impart and they will be doing so through the Green Access Program. The GAP program was initially started by some Schweitzer fellows, uh, I think it was three years ago, as part of a project to improve oral access um, for certain, you know, impoverished or uh, at need populations. And Pitt County school children are those at need when it comes to dental hygiene. And I saw what the success that the students before me did in, in Greene County and just wanted to bring it into Pitt. It's really important to, to start this early, so we targeted um, elementary students to instill in them good oral hygiene habits that they can carry with them throughout their lives. And Pitt County School says they are excited for this program to begin. The Green Access Program is able to provide dental services to the students at those six schools that weren't receiving services before. Staten and Holly are working with Bernstein Dental's Dr. Doherty to ultimately set out to get kids excited to care for their teeth. If you give them a choice between going to a water park or going to the dentist, they'll say, I want to go to both. But besides getting your kids to brush their teeth, there is something else you need to pay attention to. It's vital for the parents to keep an eye out for these permission slips, get them turned in. The GAP program is, is offering a free service and that's, that's a huge, huge um, value and benefit to these students who, who need this. ECU's dental program really wants to help these children, but if they don't turn in their permission slips, kids won't be able to take advantage of this program. They told me the permission slips will be given out at the beginning of the school year, so keep an eye out for them. In studio, I'm Emily Gibbs, 9 on your side.